You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, we have a Clary test request. And if you have a Clary test request, or you just want me to ramble about shit, as long as you got money, I'll do it. As long as it's not too stupid and it's legal. Dan writes, hi, could you do a Clary test on the current Prime Minister of Finland, Juha Sipola? I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I really don't care, because again, I'm an arrogant American. Thanks. <coughs> uh, Dan, well, thank you, Dan. So, let me pull him up, and I will... We'll just see if my intuition, my instincts are correct. I looked at this guy and it's like the douche alert with the thick rim glass. He looks like a hipster. He looks like a hipster. I could be wrong. Looks are not always, you know, accurate. They can be deceiving, but I'm I'm just, just right off the bat, if you look at this guy, you're kind of like, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, this could be the fashion. The masculine men in Finland could wear these hipster glasses. It could be the reverse of what it is here in the United States. Yuha, Finnish pronunciation, Yuha Sipile, born in Vitelli, 1961, current prime minister, a relative newcomer to politics. He has a success, successful background in business. Okay, looks like the old Clary might be wrong here. He has been the leader of the center party since 2012. How, how Scandinavian and Nordic? Yeah, we're, it, we're the center party. Hey, it's, it's when, uh, what was it? Um... Oh, the great cartoon with Bender and Fry. Futurama, where they invade the, the, the neutral planet. <laughs> what makes a man neutral, Kiff? I don't know, sir. Set the alarm to beige. <laughs> the center party. All right. I, 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 who, why does anyone pay attention to them? Finnish politics. <clears throat> After leading the center party to victory in 2015 general election, Sipola formed a center-right coalition with the appointed prime minister by the Finnish parliament. Okay, let's go. Oh, military service. All right, I'm wrong. This guy could probably kick my ass. Sipola graduated from Puolanka Lukio, Finland's university preparatory high school, completing a matriculation exam with high marks in 1980 and 1986. He earned his master's degree in engineering at the University of Oulu. All right, so let's review the Clary test. Uh, if you come from money, that's a point against you. If you majored in something stupid, that's a point against you. If you have no private sector experience, that's a point against you, unless it is in the military fire department, something where there's an actual risk and a real job involved. <clears throat> School teacher, sorry, you get a point. Military cop, you don't get a point. And then what are you currently doing today? There's a little bit of gray with this one, like if you're retired from a long serving career as a, as a mechanic, you don't get a point. If you just got into politics, like uh, Nigel Farage, uh, you don't get a point, especially if you retire. Uh, so it, newcomers to politics, uh, they don't typically get a point. Uh, but if you've been like fucking Nancy Pelosi, you never, I mean never, not one day in the private sector and then you retire off of a congressional member uh, pension, you get a point. So, um, <clears throat> Sipla's career started at Laru Kuakanen, first as a thesis worker and later as a product development manager. Changing jobs, he became partner and later CEO of Solitra Oi. Okay, so this guy is, he, he's worked private sector, he has a real degree. Did he come from money though? Uh, where's the early life stuff? Usually we get an early life preceded by, just bear with me. A lot of people get pissed off when I do the research while I'm recording. I do that because that way you know it's not scripted. I don't form an opinion of the person right away. Unless, of course, he's wearing hipster gloves and he could kick my ass because he was in the military. Had the rank of captain in the reserves in the Finnish Defense Forces. Holy shit, look at this guy go. Um, this school, though, where did he go to school? <clears throat> Graduated from... Oh, it's the town. See, preparatory. A gymnasium type of school with a strong emphasis on academic work and provide da, 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 some parts of Uranus. Okay, that's not that specific school. Okay, politics as a student in New York, short time Finnish Center for Youth, but otherwise did not have any experience in party politics before elected to the Finnish Parliament in 2011. Okay. Government controversy. Personal life family grew up in a small town, northern Finland. Da, da, da. First born of four children to mother Pirko 
and Father Penti, an elementary school teacher. Okay, so they he didn't grow up with, with any money. At, well, they didn't grow up without money. All right, so he gets zero points because he didn't have rich parents. He majored in the right thing, zero points. Military, private sector, and has only gotten into politics as of 2011. Already, Prime Minister, dude gets a perfect score. Dude gets a perfect score, which is rare for politicians, but it is possible. Now, if this guy continued serving for the next 20 years and became the Vladimir Putin of Finland, uh, then we'd, we'd, we'd have to revisit. Uh, but right now, Finland is very lucky to have this guy. Is this a guy I'd like to have a beer with? Yes, but I don't know if he'd want to have a beer with me, especially after that snide comment I made about his glasses. But no, this is, this is exactly what you'd like to see in your politicians. This is a perfect example of the Clary test working. You have a person who has not been a career politician, didn't work in the nonprofit public sector, sucking off the government teat in one way or another. He served in the military to defend the country, worked in the private sector. This guy, this guy is a cool dude. This guy is, and more important than just being a cool dude, he is a good statesman. He is not a politician, he's a statesman. He served his time in the real world, gained experience. Instead of being a professional fucking loafer and parasite, and let's just give more money to people, this guy actually has world experience and success to build on and draw from. This is a true leader. This is who you want. Um, you know, this, and I'm yelling at where a country where over half the population voted for the antithesis. Hillary Clinton. Like, if you were to take this guy and multiply him by a negative one, you get Hillary Clinton. No real world experience, evil incarnate, never worked a real job, worthless degree. But yeah, this is, this is, uh, I'd be very curious to see you now. Finland, boy, I know you guys like your socialism. That's why we have the center party, and you got a little risque with the center right. They may, they may have, uh, they may lower your booze tax by like half a percent, which would be, rather, that'd be radical, radical free market economics. <laughs> I used to know a lot more about uh, Scandinavian economics and the outlandish taxes they have on booze and vice. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, well, it's, it's known for its interest in wood gas electricity generation, uh, generation, which began as a hobby. The cost to bring power to his summer cottage seemed too high. He seemed interested in wood gas. First, he produced the electricity with wind power and a diesel generator, but then he started building wood gas plants. He converted an old Chevrolet El Camino into an El Camina, means stove and finish, powered by wood gas with electronic control systems. This hobby was spun off into a company, Volter Oi, which produces wood gas power plants. A 10 house eco village in Kempley is powered by one. He's like a, he's like a uh, non government parasitic Elon Musk. He actually made money, pro unless the Finnish government gave him subsidies, in which case he's no different than Elon. I like Evan Elon Musk. So he's like, he's like their Elon Musk, except even better if he didn't take no government handouts. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah, you guys are lucky to have him. At zero points, perfect score on the Clary test, one of the very few. We'll talk to you guys later. Toodles.